Hello everyone and happy Thursday night. We are with Elite Mischief Toxic Thursdays. We got a full house tonight guys and it's going to be so toxic and sweaty. You guys ready? I am. <laughs> In slot 2, Control. Slot 3, Luna. Esports. Slot 4, Hype Phase. Slot 5, the fierce slot six are the rude dudes seven the chefs eight negative seven nine the lichens ten k r e sports eleven taco lover twelve infinity reapers thirteen sensation fourteen four w t fifteen dragon carp 16 Sky Esports, 17 Team Shadow, 18 Made in Nepal. Hello, Sunshine, I see you. Slot 19 Nemesis Gaming, Slot 20 Inferno Esports, 21 Dauntless, 22 Straight out of Nepal. And 24 Kaizen Official. There you guys go. I can't seem to get into Trovo. If you're watching me on Trovo, I'm sorry I can't see you. But hello. Oh, maybe, maybe this time. I'm going to turn the music back on for us. Because I think we have a minute to go or so. So how's everybody's week so far? One more day, guys. One more day, and then we've got the weekend. Finally.
Ooh, Golden Eagles, Bonnie God, I see you in here. There we go, I got into Trovo finally. Persistence. Thank you, Tay, for hosting. Hello, everyone from Tay's channel. Welcome. Hello. All right. What is going on? Let me see. I'm switching, switching screens, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, guys. <laughs> are we still together? Yes, we are. <laughs> Got way too many things in way too many different directions. Lone Wolf, hello! Hello, Baymax! Hello, everyone! Welcome! And I, I see that we are getting ready to start our Toxic Thursdays! Are you guys ready to roll? Let's go! Alright, let's see... I think I got everything. Yo, yo, yo! Hello, Bree Matthews! Thank you! <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see. I think I'm good. I think, think, think I'm good. Alright, son. Since you're the first one here to say hello to me in three different chats, I am jumping with you, my sunshine! <laughs> All right, let's load in. Come on, come on, come on. Well, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I got moto on the screen, guys. Control. All right. Let's find the lichens. Let's find the sunshine. There he is, guys. Sunshine. All right. There we go. All right. Let's go, guys. I think I've got everything everywhere. And tonight we have the second uh, second screen again. I finally got everything. Oh my gosh. Guys, I had to buy a new C drive. And then I bought a new iPad. Then I had to buy a new <laughs> connector. Smiley! Big fan! Big fan! Alright guys, let's see. Where are we headed? We're headed from the wall just to the west of Monte Nuevo all the way to the armpit. <laughs> ever since somebody called that the armpit that's all i see that's all i see guys all right this is not very loud let me turn that up all right hopefully you guys can hear it and see it and we are good to go all right all right we already have hype face off the plane Pappy, i see you <laughs> looks like hype face is set it up towards El Pozo area, but I also see Dauntless headed up there. You know Dauntless takes over El Pozo. Everybody knows that. And Sun is off the plane. Are you looking for a car to go to Leones? Or are you going to, are you going to Picado? Nope, you're looking for a car. I see you. All right. So it looks like the lichens are going to do just fine. I do see that they're not too far away from the rude dudes. So we might have a fight with the lichens and the rude dudes. But it does look like Sun's looking for a car along the way. Headed over towards the farm. And he's going to see the rude dudes as soon as he turns and starts looking. The rude dudes are right over his shoulder. Let's see. Is he going to find that? They, let's see. It looks like the rude dudes are taking off. So the lichens are down on the ground. They're doing just fine. They don't... Oh, they are at the car. So they're going to do just fine. All right, guys. Our first zone. Look at this. All the way over to the east. And we already have a fight going on way over here. Team Shadow's in a fight. Let's check this out. Who are you in a fight with? Looks like Skur is offline, so we are single. Ooh, we are right here with the Taco Lovers. Oh, the Taco Lovers. Ooh, he got beaked down with that 
SKS right over here in Hacienda. And guys, we are shooting crates because it is Toxic Thursday. All right, let's go check out Bigado. See what's going on in Bigado over here. We have Team 15, which are Dragon Carp right on the screen. And they are over here with the chefs. All right, let's check in on Scrim. See what Scrim's doing right on over here. Ooh, we do have one Yuta way up here right on top of him. He's getting all the information, but they are right next door. So while we watch this for a second, I'm going to find another fight on our other screen. Let's head on over here to straight out of Nepal. We're going to get straight out of Nepal over on our... Look at that, guys! We got the second screen, a stream up and running. We are over here in Impala. Let's go ahead and zoom up. We're in Impala with Team 18. Oops. Come on. Come on. There we go. Team 18, which are made in Nepal right over here. We're straight out of Nepal. Whoops, I did it again. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hearing all sorts of all sorts of sounds going on. Let's go. Let me make sure that's not my iPad making all that racket. Nope, that's turned off. So, oh, it's the dust storm in, <laughs> in Picado. All right, so we're kind of quiet over here. We got straight out of Nepal and made in Nepal, both right down here in Impala. So let's see. It looks like the Fierce is in a fight. Let's go find Soka and the boys, see what's going on up here. It's just Luna. Luna's in a fight, too. Let's see what's going on with Luna. Oh, it's just up to Luna Chaos, and that truck has seen much better days. It looks like he's going to go ahead and get on out of there. But we got the fight right down here in El Azahar, too. So let's see what's going on over here. We have Aces Drago right over here, and he's the last one still standing for Team 20. Inferno Esports, and they're in a fight with the Fierce. So we already lost Kunja. Oh, we lost three of them. So now it's just up to Drago. Drago against all four of them. So it's going to might not be the greatest ending so let's see let's scroll on in a little bit closer see where everybody is we did lose one over here are we still at the church no they are moving out and around so let's come on over this way see if we can get a better angle of everything that's going on down in impala for you guys looks like drago keeping an eye on them as they're going across the street look at this they are getting ready to surround them there they got two coming up on them soka straight across from them and i'm not sure who this is right behind him oh he could see soka perfectly and we can already hear those those footsteps coming up green nelly bigger fan bigger fan oh it's insurgent on the angle way down in the flank so here they come they are both pushing up i see z coming up those steps oh and z coming right on through all right guys so the fierce taking over el azahar and let's see let's go back over to picado see what's happening with picado we still have the two teams over here dragon carp still a full four-man team and the chefs are still a four-man team but the chefs are still looting and i'm not sure what dragon carp are doing let's see what these guys are doing looks like we got an aug and an s12 coming up and around they're trying to get some angles over onto the chefs we do have, it looks like Scrim is right there in the red apartments, right with them. So let's see what's going on with that. We'll switch over to Scrim, see what he can see. He's right here on the edge. So he is in the apartments. Let's go. Let's check in on Yuta, see what Yuta's doing. He's up here in the casino, lightweight in the casino, and Jay's. <laughs> it looked like he was taking an elevator up. Oop. All right, so let's go back over to Dragon Carp, see what these guys are doing. That's so <laughs> we are snaking down the steps, boys. All right, so let's go. Let's see what else is happening. It still looks like we still have the two teams over here in Impala. It looks like they're being really quiet. Not a lot going on over here. Let me check the map, see what we can see. And 
Do you, it does look like maybe Robin's gonna have somebody coming right up on him. Look at this. Robin's got all of Team Eleven, the taco lovers, right on top of him. Robin's not standing still. We are. So let's go back over to Robin. I think he was out scouting to see if anybody was up on Radio Tower Hill because the rest of his team is still coming up. But it looks like Robin is headed towards center zone. We might have Dauntless finding his... Finding a fight. Oh, just as I said that, Klaus's name was right there on our screen. So, let's see. Dauntless is over here in a fight with Team 19 Nemesis Gaming. Let's check in our Ruby. Looks like we lost Solo. Oh, Solo down and out. Let's see. We got, we got Reaper over here. Taco Cheese. Oh, he found Brick control coming in right there so let's go let's see what's going on as dauntless you already know that klaus found one and klaus is still out hunting guys <laughs> you know he is let's go all right i don't know we got casper and salty on the on the roster tonight let's go let's go over and see what the taco lovers are doing over here with control we did lose the one from control that looks like we got one from Control in some issues. I don't know what this name is, guys, but he is he has seen better moments. We do have Moto coming up and around, and I think Robin was way off going towards, towards center zone. So he, this guy, yep, they are pushing up onto him. So, guys, we're going to stick here for just a minute, see if he can hold off the taco lovers as they are coming out and around. And right on past. <laughs> Ooh, look at that dead level one helmet. You you got to hate that when you're getting ready to CQC and you look down and remind yourself that, yeah, not only do you have a level one, but it's dead for your head. <laughs> I'm rhyming. I'm amusing myself, guys. You know I got to do it. Oh, he put up that fight, but... It, he is not able to hold that off, and it does look like Moto is headed back over towards Robin. The two teams over here in Bigato, they still have to come on out. Looks like, looks like our fights over here in Impala might have, might have changed. So oh, look at that, straight out in Nepal, Wolf Ob taking down most of them from Made in Nepal. All right, guys, let's go. Let's see what else is going on. See what's happening right on over here. Sorry, guys, I should not have kept that up on the main screen. Sorry. Let me come on over here and find somebody that's actually moving. Oh, chefs are in a fight. Where are the chefs, guys? Let's see. Where are the chefs? Let's go back over the tacos because it does look like the tacos are over here in another fight. And it looks like they got the rude dudes up top. Let's check in on Manny. Won't be 99. He is just ducking and a diving, boys. All right. So we got the Lycans coming in from, from the south. And I think we might have negative seven right over here in a fight. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's go up and over. See what's happening. There is Ja down at the below. And Team 10 is going up and around right over the top of them. We are at the truck stop over here. Oh, Rude Dude, Manny. We got two of them knocked from the Rude Dudes. Let's check in on Jazz. Jazz is way across the street. And let's see what's going on with the Eagle right over here. Looks like, looks like we could change it up just a little bit. Eagle right over here trying to... Oh, he's down to about 1 HP as he's getting pushed up. Oh, he could not hold him off, but he was so low. And Jazz is still right across the way. So now let's go. Let's see what else is going on. What we can find. Let's come on up here. Check in on Sky Esports. It looks like Sky Esports Senpai is right here with Dauntless. Dauntless is coming up and around. Let's check out what we can find right down here. Looks like we got another fight going on right over here between Team 10, which is KR Esports. And they are coming right up on Team 13. Team 13 is sensation. Look at Dauntless right at the top of this hill. Let's see what's going on with Klause. He's over here just getting his team back up and rolling. All right, so we do have Team 13 
and Team 10 right down on the lower right hand corner. Looks like got a pretty good fight there. So let's go over here, check it, check in on Sensation. We got got the fight from above. Let's get up close and perfect. Snow is red trying to get those shots over on the Blinky Bay. Not Blinky Bay. No, there goes Versa. All right, so let's go. Let's see what else is going on. Milaz right over here. He's the last one still standing for KR Esports. So let's go. Let's see what else we can find. We'll stick with him for a minute on the main screen and see what we can find down on the lower right-hand corner. And you can see that we are still going up to the northeast. We are way up by Toramunda and Cruz de Ball. Let's go. Let's see what's happening Let's check in on Rudu Jess right down here. He is completely surrounded by the lichens. Uh-oh, I don't see the sun over here, though. Oh, and look at that. Magic taking those shots over on him. And taken out by the lichens. We lost sun. Sun, what are you doing? Where are you in this game? All right, so let's see what's going on with me. Lies right over here is Team 13 are pushing up on them. Team 13 sensation. But I also see another team coming up not too far behind. Oh, and he's getting shot from the back. I'm not sure who that was that was shooting from the back. So let's, let's see what is going on right on over here. See... I think that might be the taco lovers right over here getting in this sh in this fight with team 13 and team 23 now oh 13 22 and 11 right on on this edge and we do have taco sheep on the screen taco cheese up to four kills already and headed straight towards straight out of Nepal, straight out of Nepal at the top of that hill in the lower right hand corner. You can see it on the up here as well. Oh, Vortex finding one of them. So let's see what's going on with Vortex. He just found, he was just able to knock one of them and it looks like Wolf OP is pushing right up onto him and Russell, here comes Russell going right over the top of him, the drive by. Russell putting tired dents in foreheads here. All right. So now he's coming up and around. Oh, Russell on a roll tonight. He's got one more still standing for the taco lovers. The taco lovers right there. And I think, let's see, which one was that? Was that sauce? Yes, yeah, sauce and sheep are getting out of there right as we speak. So there we go. But the lichens are now coming up on straight out of Nepal. Magic and Moon straight across the road from straight out of Nepal. So let's see. I'll go ahead and keep that down at the lower right-hand corner. And let's check in. Ooh, we got the chefs not too far away as well. Look at that. The chefs watching them drive right on by. And I think that the lichens may be able to see Vortex right over there. You can see that Vortex is right across the way from the lichens. All three of them from the lichens at the top of the hill. Alright guys, let's go ahead and scroll on in. See if we can find another fight. Ooh, it looks like Moto having some issues right on over here. Oh, Moto's on fire right when we get to him. And here comes Team 4. Hype phase. Hype phase coming up and around. Catching some of that Moto... Moto Burger Grilling. So let's see what is going on. We got we got the Bama Boys up to two kills. Moto, oh, Moto trying to clear that doorway and does get taken down and out. He was pretty low from the Mali. So hype face, spectate our boys, please. One HP. We got one HP on the board right now. So in three minutes, you will see your boys win that fight with control. They are up to four kills. All right, so static, knocking static with the nade. <laughs> you know, that did not make him happy at all. All right, so let's go. Let's let's see what's going on right over here with negative seven. I'm going to go ahead and put little baby on the screen as little baby is pushing up over here onto the fear. So let's go over here. Catch this from above. See what we can see where everyone is. 
And look at this. They're coming right up and in, little baby. On that backside is... Oh, there goes... There goes Soka. So now Static is right there in that smoke straight across. I think Surgeon... And Surgeon is knocked as well. I think Static is the last one still standing. Oh! And little baby is the last one still standing for negative seven. But he's going to be able to pick everyone up. And I think they're going to do just fine. So... Let's go, and I do see another team not too far away. I see the Lycans, and I see Kaizen Official not too far away. Look at this, right across the street, basically. All right, guys, let's go. Let's see what else we can see as we scroll on in. It looks like straight down the Paul Russell coming right up and in, right on top of Nemesis Gaming. Look at that pretty car. He is not standing still. We are. All right. So it looks like Russell getting ready to take that fight with Nemesis Gaming. And let's see, he's just keeping his back clear. You know how important that is, guys. All right, so let's come on over here, see what Russell's up to. And we do have the chefs not too far away. We do have Nemesis right down in there. Nemesis is between the chefs, hype phase, and straight out in Nepal. And I'm not sure where straight out in Nepal is. I think Russell. Russell rotated on up to zone. I do see him in a car somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where. All right, so now the nemesis does have to go ahead and rotate. And they're going to rotate straight into height phase. So let's go. Let's see what's going on. We have all these teams pushing into Cruz Duval, but Cruz Duval is no longer in zone. The Lycans are in zone. Dauntless is right over here in a fight. Let's see who are they fighting with. Oh, I think that is it for Luna. Luna does get taken out. Klaus up to three kills already. Let's see what is Klaus doing over here. Klaus right on that edge of the zone. All right, so Nemesis is still right on the outside of Hype Base. Let's see what is going on over here. I think Zen Sakura getting ready to get pushed up on. Let's see where is Sakura. It does look like does look like straight oh negative seven is pushing up onto zen sakura look at this so we'll go ahead and pop in on oh yep we'll stay here on sakura see if she can hold off the push from negative seven as negative seven is coming up and in and there goes team 19 driving right below klaus Ooh, klaus gets knocked oh from who is it? Oh, it's A4 Reaper. So let's see. Where is Reaper? Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. Right here in Nemesis. So Klaus gets knocked by Nemesis. But Reaper's been knocked. So now it's just up to Chino. Four. Nemesis. And we got this. We do have the shafts right down below. So let's go. It looks like looks like Salty going over there to pick up Klaus. Let's check in Salty right over here. And it did look, oh, all right, so there's another one not, not too far behind him. We still have Nemesis Chino coming in right behind Hype Face and Chef. So now we got to get everybody picked back up straight out of Nepal. What are you guys doing over here? That looks like they are on the Taco Lobos. So let's see what Russell can do as he is pushing right up and in. They are all right here on top of the Taco Lovers. We do have... We do have Sheep and Sauce right in here. Oh, she Sheep is able to take one down, but then straight out of Nepal came up and in. Hype phases down to one last player. Lethal trying to get up and over to Tiger, but he's still getting shot at by Dauntless from over on the other side. Guys, so let's go. Let's see what else is happening. It looks like negative seven, little baby, right over here on the edge of zone. So we're going to go ahead and scroll up and check out zone because this is zone, guys. You can see that Dauntless way over on the other edge is on the edge of zone. We are right here. So that is your zone right down below. And it does look like Hype Phase Lethal should be able to get to... Oh, nope. And there he goes. All right. So let's check in on Straight Out of Nepal. Straight Out of Nepal pushing right up onto negative seven. Negative seven straight down below. Let's see if we can see him. They are coming up to from the south, actually. And Lethal. Oh, Lethal, they are watching you. So let's see what is Wolf OP. Wolf OP and Vortex are both coming right up and in. 
right up to the drop. You can see that drop right in the middle of the zone. So now let's see what is going on. We still have negative seven right there next to the lichens. We got the lichens right on over here. Let's check out what the H2O can see over here. Trying to get those shots. Look at that. Oh, negative seven is right there in his sights. And oh, he gets found by, by Kratzy. So Kratzy's going to be able to get up. Get his team up because, guys, they are in zone. So let's go down below, see if we can get around to see the remaining three teams. We have negative seven straight out in the ball and Dauntless. So let's go. Let's see what's going to happen now. It is a 3v2v2. So our top fragger at the moment is Wolf OP with four and negative seven little baby and little baby is back up onto his feet let's check in on casper see what casper's doing he's trying to get those eyes trying to figure out where negative seven is straight across from him <coughs> sorry guys still fighting these allergies <coughs> all right so let's see what is going on let's check in on vortex and the boys see what's going on keeping his eye on both angles they know exactly where everyone is look at that craziness oh uh, it's scott you're really great at casting oh well thank you scott i appreciate that thank you i try i try <laughs> let's see what ja is doing ja -rug. oh i see dauntless salty on the move guys he is coming up and around trying to get those angles down the hill onto negative seven. Oh, i think he just saw crazy right there he did oh he just saw him right there on the edge of that rock right above it and we do have this push coming up and around and it we are down to the last two teams we have negative seven. Oh, a little baby that nade. Oh, that nade gets the little baby down to about half out. But little baby is still standing. So it is little baby and Ja right there as Salty is coming up and over this edge. Casper now coming up to the front to push up onto negative seven. It is a 2v2. And oh, Salty gets knocked. So now it's just up to Casper. Casper against the duo from negative seven. We have Ja and little baby right there. Ja Rule coming right up and over. Oh, Casper had that buggy and was able to use it to his advantage. But look at this Dauntless coming in first, guys, with 13 kills. Negative seven coming in second with nine kills in straight. Out of Nepal coming in third with 10 kills. G, G tap three. <laughs> Here's the rest of your scores. Four through six, seven through nine, 10 through 12, 13 through 15, 16 through 18, 19 through 21 and 22 that Bentley looking sick yes it does T yes it does going all out playing for Dauntless is Casper six kills 936 damage all right guys we're gonna be jumping with Dauntless when we come right back be right back
Welcome back everyone to Elite Mischief Toxic Thursdays and here are your scores. Dauntless coming in first with 23 total points straight on and a ball in second with 15 total points and negative 7 with 15 total points. One kill between them. There are your scores at the moment and we are going to be jumping with Dauntless. Lotus Casper. Let's see if we can load in, guys. Let's see if, if I could get fiber. I would get fiber in. It would be so much better, guys. Ugh. But according to my cable company, I'll get fiber in more than 10 years because they don't even have, have it in the next 10-year plan. So I was crushed. So let's go. We do what we do with what we can do <laughs> let me find dauntless dauntless where are you guys i thought you were up towards the top there's casper casper the last match top fragger he had six kills three assists i think and 936 damage all right guys here we go headed to erangel and we are going from the bay the georgia pole bay all the way across the map just north of lapovka going over the top of Rozhok and just south of yesnaya so let's see where we're gonna go Ew, I see Minecraft stuff, son. It's back. No matter what I do, I make all these changes. My stream gets yuckier. <laughs> all right, enough complaining, I know. And it looks like Dauntless is already off the plane, and they are not alone. Look at this huge group, huge cluster jumping right with them. I think that's Team 10 right next to them. Yes, it is, Mom Bay. I see. See you chasing after Dauntless. We got KR Esports right here with Dauntless. And let's see. Looks like they are still going over the top of Dauntless. They're going to go ahead and head north. And I think Dauntless is going to go ahead and take over all of North North George to themselves. No, look at that. KR Esports is to the very west of them. And we already got a fight. Who? Where is this fight, guys? Everybody's still up. Oh, it's right over here at the hospital, I think. Is this where we are? Yes, we are. We have Team 15. Dragon Carp right over here with Team 5, the Fierce. So let's see what's going on with the Fierce. Ooh, we were just down to Insurgent. Static never is not in this match at the moment. I'm not sure if he was already out. But Z is down and out. Insurgent trying to hold. Oh, Dragon Carp. Dragon Carp taking on over. And we got control right over here at, I think this is Crates, or just North, South George next to Crates. It looks like Zen, Zen Kaizen. We're in a fight right over here. Let's see what's going on over here. We are at Gekka. Zen Kaizen right over here with Team 19. Nemesis Gaming. It was Ruby. Ruby limping along a little bit at five hp and a kill so let's go let's see what else is going on we have sky esports they're gonna have the whole southwest area of this main map let's go all right we, ooh, we do have another clash of clans right on over here straight out in the ball trying to go over the top of luna oh luna's down to one less player oh straight out of nepal already up to four kills look at that not even everybody on the ground just yet and now we have two teams right over here in impala we have inferno esports over here with infinity reapers all right let's get the mini map into play let's see what's going on right over here we will just go ahead and zoom on up and check out what is going on between zen kaizen and and uh, nemesis and it looks like ruby is down to about five hp again but he's got just suni coming up and around on the other side Let's check in on Sujan, sir, right over here at the top, trying to get those eyes right down onto Kunjan. So let's see what's going to happen over here. 
Ruby is still up and around. Still trying to get those shots down at Gaka. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sujan, they look at the trap that they set from the top. The two of them having the same angle. All right, so let's see. Oh, Jack Lord. No, Jack Lord gets knocked by that nade. So let's see. Master coming down and around. Where is Knight? Knight might be able to get over to Jack Lord. Let's see. It looks like they are starting to push up and in on top of them. So let's see if he can get on over there. I do see it. Oh, Chills is right there. And Drago straight across. Peaceful. T.E. Peaceful coming up and around. And I think Sujan was just taking those shots over at him. And now Drago is getting chewed up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Peaceful right there in that back room. And this nade could hit. Peaceful doesn't go off. No, just, just missing Peaceful. Knight still trying to figure out. Oh, Knight now getting pushed up on by Peaceful and Drago. And, oh, they came up and around. Knight trying to get those shots right up and over. Look at this loot, guys. He's got a 686 and an M16. Ooh, Knight coming in through that door with that. With that 686 is able to find and thirst peaceful right on through. But now Drago is on the backside of that. So let's let's switch on over to Drago. See what Drago can do. Can he push it? Hold him up. No, Drago is down. So now it is just up to Chills. Chills is the last one still standing for Inferno Esports against Region 8 Infinity. Reapers, hello monster clock, hello, hello. All right, so now Chill's coming up and through, trying to get that nade right over on the master. Master throwing that nade just on the, oh, and Chill's, oh, Chill's got himself with that nade. All right, guys, let's see what else is going on. We still have the fight. Let's see, it looks like Sakura is the last one still standing against now against nemesis i'll go ahead and put that all up there let's go over up to team 14 for wt right over here with sensation we got red and blue over here i don't see green oh here i am <laughs> let's check in on legendary here i know guys i won't quit my day job <laughs> All right, so let's go. It looks like we lost two of them from Nemesis, but Nemesis is now now taking over Gaka. That was pretty painful. Pretty painful push. Let's see what's going on with the chefs right on over here. It looks like the chefs are right here next to the rude dudes. So now it looks like Jass getting pushed up on by Scrims. Let's see what's going on. Scrims is definitely coming up and in. We'll switch over and check out what Jass is doing over here. Oh, they are just a duo. It is Jass and Manny. Let's see what's going on with Manny. I think Manny might be the one making all that noise. I can't figure out who's making all the noise right on over there. All right, so let's see. Oh, we lost Risk and Red that whole time. I was looking over at the wrong... All right, so let's see what is going on. Moonlight 4WT getting chewed up quite a bit. Let's see what Moonlight is doing. Moonlight still... Oh, legendary. So now let's see. Where is Optimus Prime coming up and in? Trying to get those angles over onto legendary. He knows that legendary is right there on the backside. And there goes Moonlight by Blue. So let's see. Optimus Prime coming up and around. Still trying to find Legendary. Legendary has moved out and around. Is behind that car right in front of him. <coughs> so let's see if Legendary can hold off this push. Let's see. What is he doing? Oh, here comes the... Oh, I thought that was a nade. It's a smoke. Oh, the nade was coming right over at Legendary. And Optimus Prime does find him. So, no. We got Blue across the street. Blue getting ready to throw those nades up and over. Blue is down to about 5 HP. All right. So, Manny's doing just fine over here. Let's see what is going on right over here. With Lotus Casper playing for Dauntless. Is there coming up and around? Oh, Let's see, did Casper just get knocked? No, he did not. I thought he did. All right, so Blue coming up on top of this and seeing if he can get those angles right on down. Oh, there's Optimus Prime right in front of him. So let's see. Mui's so sad. 
Mui so sad. Let's see what Mui so sad is doing. He looks like they are getting ready to go on out, and it looks like Dauntless is in a fight. Oh no, there goes Casper. Let's see what's going on with Klaus. Let's see, Klaus coming up and around. Looks like he's trying to figure out where Team Team Two control and the shafts are not too far away. I thought I saw another one coming up and around. Yeah, they're coming right there in front of Klaus. So, let's go. Let's see what's going on for the rest of them. We'll switch back over for a second over to Blue and see what Blue is doing. It looks like Blue is just collecting all the information he can to figure out where they are headed and what they are up to. I do see another team going right behind Blue, and Blue's got to watch his back because that other team might be able to see him up on that roof. And that is K. Our esports coming up and around. We got Versa, Milaz, and Blinky Bay. So let's see, what is Milaz doing? Is he? he nope, he is just coming up and around. He, look at that. There's your Bentley, boys. There's the Bentley. And we're having a bit of a bit of issues. Look at that double Bentleys, guys. Double. All right. So this may be the Dent Bentley crew here. And for whatever reason, I cannot get these to cooperate. Look at this. And Milaz, Blinky Bay. They are all trying to get those angles right up and over. And we still have blue up on top of this as well. What, what is that line going up and over? So that's kind of new for me. I got a new line. So let's go. Let's check out the map, see where we're going. It looks like everybody is crushed down into the southwest corner zone of the circle and nobody is on the east side of the circle we do have one team right on over there and straight out in Nepal coming up and in but for the most part everybody is right down in here dauntless cloud seven issues driving out and around we still have negative seven up in zarki they're not too worried about it because they just have to come along the north shore so let's go over and check in on Control Robin. See what Robin is doing over here. Robin making some making some problems for the teams trying to move on in. We do have Team 10 up at the top. Hello, Zuli. Hello. All right, so Robin's still trying to keep an eye up on to Team 16 as well. Sky Esports are not too far away from them. I, unless they went ahead and rotated. Yeah, they continued to rotate up and around. But we do have Taco Cheese. It looks like Taco Cheese may be headed straight on in right at KR Esports. There's Nemesis right in front of him. But KR Esports is right there on top of him. Look at this. Cheese trying to get as much information as possible. And there goes Sheep going along and across. All right. Dauntless back up. Oh, Klaus. It looks like Klaus is getting pushed up on by the chefs. The chefs are coming on in. And did they lose the other team as well? We do have a trio for Dauntless. And we have the chefs coming up and in. All right. There you guys go. All right. So let's see what else is going on. We got Brick right on down there. Let's see what Brick is taking those shots at over here. It looks like he's trying to get those shots up onto Taco taco lovers and we still have kr esports at the top of the hill taking those shots Ooh, brick brick did get chewed up quite a bit so let's go on and see what's going on right on over here milaz taking those shots over at the at the sheep and i think oh blinky bay pushing up into saverny trying to get the shots over on to team 14 for wt and we still have sensation blue coming up and around look at that robin just knocked cheese so let's go let's see what's going on over here where is mom bay hello mom bay big fan big fan let's see very easy game way easy game you think so yeah <laughs> oh klaus is getting let's go let's check in on klaus see what's happening with klaus as the chefs are pushing right up in uh, on top of them and Jay's Klaus just found Yuda. Oh, Scrims is finding him. And there goes Klaus by Chef Jay's. The Chef's coming right up and in on top of that. All right, guys, let's see what else is going on 
over here see what's happening as the lichens now are pushing right up onto the shelves look at this it's moon coming up and around but moon you have negative seven right over next to you as well looks like moon doing some donuts out in the grass and look at this the shops are right here right below all this action there goes like an h2o coming up and around so we got the shops negative seven and the lichens all right in here now so let's go this is the place to be looks like moon coming out and around does know that there was a a full team right in there. Oh, what is happening over here? Looks like the taco. Tacos are down to just sheep. And there goes the taco lovers. Brick Brick is the last one still standing right on over here. And who is coming up? It looks like that was KR Esports that came right up and in onto him. Let's see what's going on over here. We lost Versa and all that, but Malaz is coming right up onto Team 18. Made in Nib. Ball. So let's go. Let's go over to over to zone. See what's happening right over here because this is insanity on this on this hilltop. We do have teams in every direction, guys. We got we've got team two straight down. We got team ten straight down. We got team eighteen straight down. Look at all these teams right over in here, right at the top. It looks like we got Sky Senbei right over here in a fight with the duo coming out oh and there they go that was the duo from sarnia Saberni. there we go i got it oh kr esports coming up and over the top of that hill and we still have control right on down and control is being gate kept right here by by team 8 Team 18 made in Nepal. They are gatekeeping control on the lower right hand corner of your screen. And our zone is going from Stobler to Yasnaya, guys. Let's go. Let's see what else is happening. And what is happening right up in here? Let's check in on Sky. That is Sky right here. And these two are, look at this. Here comes KR Esports coming right up onto them. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with Blinky Bay. What is going on with you guys over here? See what's happening. Blinky Bay is up to three kills, guys. And let's see. Negative seven going up and around. Able to miss most of this that's going on. The bottom screen giving me anxiety. The lag is real. <laughs> well, don't watch the bottom screen then. I don't know what to tell you. Some people like it. Some people don't. All right, let's see what's happening right over here. The chefs over at the compound trying to get into a fight with Team 18 right over here. Let's see what's going on. There you guys go. And Sky, ooh, ja. There he goes. Let's see a little baby. What can you do over here, little baby? Still trying to get those shots down onto Hustler. Does connect a few of those hot shots. Gets Hustler down to about half health. And oh, Kratz, he just, oh, he just missed getting to. Ja. Oh, is Ja getting picked up? He is! Look at that, guys! Last second is able to... What is going on? Stop that. What? Alright, dog. So let's see what is happening right on over here. Looks like the chefs were able to take out Team 18. We still have one from Team 18 running around. And let's go over to Hustler. See what's happening with Hustler. Hold on, let me yell at my dog. All right, so sorry about that, guys. All right, so let's see what's happening. What is happening? We are down to the top 10 teams. We have Region 8 Infinity right over here, Infinity Reapers. We have straight out of Nepal taking over most of most of Stobler Hill. We have negative seven and control right on top of each other. Let's head over and check out what Robin is doing. You know Robin is keeping an eye right up on the negative seven. Yes, they are. So let's go over and check out what's happening right up here with Jazz. See what's happening as control is going right under the under negative seven as they are going out and around. And there goes little baby chasing after him. Oh, and little baby gets knocked out of the car by Robin right in front of us. 
Uh, oh, and now Ja coming up and around. We still have Kratzy at the back. So, oh, this nade by Robin could end up right on top of Ja. Oh, Ja's throwing that nade right on back in there. Duck. Oh, Robin's able to find Ja. So now let's see what is Kratzy doing. He is getting out of there, guys. He's going back towards zone. Let's see what is going on with Hype Face. Hype Face, here we go, guys. Let's check in on Hype Face right over here as they are coming up on the Infinity Reapers. The Infinity Reapers are on the hill right above Hype Face. This Hype Face is trying to push up against this. Look at that crazy push trying to go straight up the hill right at him. We got Joe right on the screen. And let's see. Well, we are still way down in... And he has Naya here, so let's go. Let's see. It looks like Bama Boy is trying to get those nades right up on the Master. Master down just a little bit in the house. So let's see. What does Master see at the top? Let's see. Is He's just going to go ahead and get away from that nade. All right. Let's check in on Sujan, sir. Coming right up into this compound right above. So let, there you go, guys. Now you got a better idea of where these guys are. Let's go. Let's see what else is happening. Let's see what's happening with Minnie, Mr. Minnie over here. Minnie, Mr. Zorro. And it did look like Team 16 was pushing up on them. Sky Esports, but it looks like they are headed to zone. Going to go ahead and prior towards, prior, prioritize zone. I am... I'm losing my mouth, guys. All right, so now the chefs are pushing up on the team 22 straight out of the ball. Let's check in on Wolf OP. Wolf OP keeping an eye on that. Look at that. You can see the chefs coming right up and around that edge. The chefs using the terrain terrain to go up and around. Look at that car. Oh, it's so much prettier when you can actually see it on the right type of graphics guys all right so let's check in on the chefs see what the chefs are doing the chefs keeping an eye straight on down that hill all right guys let's see what else is happening it looks like bama boys it looks like hype phase is still doing just fine but everybody's starting to crush and we do have to go to zone here neither one of these teams on the screen are in zone down in the lower right hand corner and look at that straight on in Nepal right here on the edge of zone right on top of the chefs look at the mini screen and mini up in the top right hand corner so let's let's check in on straight out of Nepal let's see what these guys are doing it looks like ooh, wolf op coming right up and around on to Team 10, KR Esports. KR Esports right there below them. Let's check in and see what these guys are doing. They are right across the way. That is Milaz. Let's check in on Blinky Bay. Woo! Here comes straight out of Nepal on this push. Blinky Bay gets run over by Wolf OP. Where's Mumbay? Mumbay on the backside trying to get those shots right up and over. Oh, Wolf OP down to about 5 HP as they are on this push coming up and in. Here comes the nade by Mumbai right on top of Russell OP and Sujan. Oh, we got the fights going off everywhere, guys. Let's see if we can come up and around. See what's happening with Region 8 Infinity Reapers. This high phase is on the push, guys. They have to come up and in that hill. So let's go. Let's see what's happening. Mumbai up to four kills and he might be able to get over to Malaz just in time because they are right on the edge of zone and we did get a circle. Look at that. We got a donut zone. Nobody right in the middle. Everybody's going to have to go ahead and push on in just a bit. So let's see what's going on with the chefs right over here because negative seven coming right up and in on the top of all this. And we still have this fight right over here with Hype Phase and Region 8 Infinity. We also have Control Robin at the top of the screen. And we have the Chef's way at the top. So let's go. Let's see what else is happening, guys. Let's see what's happening as Hype Phase. Valencia coming right up and in on two other teams. Look at that. Robin is right there, and Mr. Zorro is right there. Robin throwing all those nades right up and over the top of Valencia. Look at this. He's trying to get him further, but Robin does have that one 
right behind him. Look at that. Let's see if we can find Mr. Zorro. Oh, Mr. Zorro can see Robin right there. Look at that. Right in front of him. He's just watching Robin fight. Robin is fighting all the hype phases. Hype phases coming up. Oh, and Mr. Zorro hops up and does take down Robin from the back. And now hype phase has Mr. Zorro down to about 20 HP. And there they go, Baba Lencia. All right, guys, let's go back up, up to the top of the hill. See what we can see up here. See what if we can see. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Let's go. Come on. All right. What is happening? Let's go over here. There we go. Now, we'll go up and check out what the zone is. There you go. Guys, that is zone straight down. So, we are right on the edge of the side of the hill. So, we are down to the last three teams. We still have KR Esports on the main screens. Height phase and region eight infinity reapers oh trying to get those shots right over at hype phase joe so let's go let's see if we can see what's happening i'm not sure where mom bay went but that's most of the most of the players on the screen down below all right so let's check in on hype phase joe see what he is doing over here he is getting shot at from every direction he's got He's got the two from Infinity Reapers straight across, and he's got a duo up top from KR Esports. Look at Joe trying to get those shots as they are coming down and around. It is a 3v2v2. So, oh, night, oh, night right there in Mambe. Mambe from above. Let's see what Master 23K can do. He's down to about 20 HP. So let's see. There we go, guys. There's a little better angle for what you can see right into the zone. Let's scroll into the zone just a little more so we got a better idea. It is straight down the side of that hill. Master Master 23K trying to just crawl on in my bay. Ooh, there he goes. So now my bay up to seven kills and... We are down to the last two teams. We have Hype Phase and KR Esports, guys. And KR Esports coming up and around. And Valencia runs right over the top of Mom Bay. So now it is just up to Malaz. So let's see what Malaz is doing right on over here. Taking that shotgun, trying to get the shots over onto Hype Phase as they are coming up on this push right there behind that smoke. And Hype Phase! Hype Phase coming in first, guys, with five total eliminations. KR Esports coming in second with 16 kills. Coming in third, Region 8 Infinity Reapers with four kills. GG Top 3. Here's the rest of your scores 4 through 6, 7 through 9, 10 through 12. 13 through 15, 16 through 18, 19 through 21, going all out, KR Esports, Mambe, 7 kills, 1,393 damage, GG's, we're going to be jumping with Mambe when we come right back, be right back guys.
that told me I had to be within the lines of two degrees and nine to five. And I've been working after work since last September. Working after work, yeah. I stay up late on the weekdays. I never tell when we say. Hello everyone and welcome back to match three of Elite Toxic or Elite Mischief Toxic Thursday. Here are the scores coming in first. Dauntless with 25 total points. KR Esports right behind him with 23 and height phase at 23. Just the kills separating KR Esports and Hype Phase. There are your scores, boys. All right, so we this time we are going to be jumping with KR Esports Mambe. Seven kills, 1,393 damage. Let's find Mambe. Big Bam, Mambe. There he is right here on your screen, guys. And we are headed into Vikindi. Alright, so we have 20 seconds. I'll show you the scores again just in case you didn't get to see them all. Looking for who you're trying to find because some of this lighting, <laughs> this, these letters are a little bit difficult to see. There you go. And we are headed into Vikendi, our third flight path of tonight. Let's see where we are going. Hot springs all the way up through the Cosmodrome and into the water right over the top of Cement Factory and Podvosto. So you guys already know we are going to be finding some crazy fights here. So let's see where everybody goes and what they do. And we are still on Mumbai. I'm proud of myself for that. All right. We do have a lot of teams jumping off right away. Headed on over towards the winery. So we'll go ahead and put that up on the, on the lower right hand corner. There you go. See what's going on in the winery. We got a couple of them headed over towards Tovar. We have negative seven and the rude dudes right there. And there goes KR Esports. And they are looking over at the Lycans. And I think that was Dauntless. So Lycans, Dauntless, KR Esports. I did just see Infinity Reapers also. So we got all sorts of teams coming up and in. Let's see what Mumbai can do as they are headed down towards Trevno. And look at all the teams headed down here towards, look at that. There are three teams down here by Winery. We have Hype Phase, The Fierce, and Inferno Esports. Mumbai down on the ground, and here comes Dauntless. It is Dauntless that came right up and in. So we're going to keep this fight up on the screen down below. 
are on the screen and down below. Look at this. Chills is just keeping an eye on Hype Phase. Look at this. He is watching where they are going. Look at the all this all this information he's getting for his team as he is just floating along and he is totally watching what they are doing. He's the one controlling what we're looking at. Look at all this information he is getting. Mombay already up trying to get those shots over onto Dauntless on the main screen. All right, so Chills is down on the screen. Let's see what is going on over here. We do have, oh, there goes Obito. So let's see what's going on over here in winery we do have the chefs right over here along with team 16 sky esports so let's see what's going to happen right on over here there you go now you can see sky esports and the chefs straight on down mom bay still still in this and let's see what is going on over here oh dauntless is a trio we have Klaus, Casper, and him. <laughs> Not sure who this is. Oh, Dauntless. Klaus just got knocked. Look at that. So now let's see what. Oh, and I think, yes, he did. So now it's just up to Casper. Da Casper trying to get da or Klaus back up onto his feet. And we can hear him all pushing up and around. And here comes the Mollies. Coming right on through, Casper and Klaus are able to get up and through. So now they are just a duo. Let's see what is going on. We'll stick with Dauntless because they are just a duo. Let's see, can Klaus, oh, Klaus gets beamed with that nade. Who got you with that nade? It's Malaz. So now it is just Casper. Casper coming up with a nade, trying to, oh, Casper does get one with the nade. He gets Blinky Bay. He's trying to come down and around. There's Versa. Oh, and he gets Versa. So now it is just Malaz right there. So Malaz is in Casper. Oh, let's see. What, oh, Malaz was able to get him. We did lose Mombay the last match. Top Fragger. But we're going to be able to pick up Versa and Blinky. All right, guys. Let's see what else is going on. Let's come on over here. See what's happening right on down below. Let's see what is happening over here. Look at all these teams over here. We still have the Fierce and all this as well. We have three teams right on top of each other down in the lower right-hand corner. And we have three teams up here. We have Made in Nepal right over here with Luna. Let's check in on Luna Harper. See what Harper is doing. Harper trying to keep those eyes. We did lose Mainer, so let's see where Chaos is. Chaos causing trouble over here in Zababa. Let's see what's going on with me so sad. We're trying to get those eyes right over on to Made in Nepal. So Made in Nepal right over on the backside. He knows kind of where they are. He's keeping them in moonlight right over here. So we're kind of quiet for just a second. Ooh, is Moonlight, did Moonlight see Randy? Maybe not. And so all these teams, look at this. We have two, three teams in zone. We have control, hype phase, rude dudes. Let's see what's going on with the rude dudes there. Oh, they took out a team. Peaceful was able to find them. So I think who jumped with them? Was that, was that negative seven? <laughs> Hello, Pokey. Hello, Nats. I see you. All right, so Hustler trying to hold off the push by the script. Oh, now let's see what is going on. We are still right above this, so let's see what is going on. As they are pushing right up and in, here comes the Fierce coming right up and in on the Chefs. As they are pushing up that back hill. Let's see if we can get over there fast enough to see what's happening. Soka right across the street. Let's get back over to the chefs, see if we can see what the chefs are going through because the chefs just, just had that fight. So now it's just lightweight right over here as the chefs are coming. Oh, 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 static coming in from the back. And look at that, the fierce up to seven kills. All right, let's go back over here to Zababa, see what's happening in Zababa. Looks like Mr. Zoro does have two kills right over here for Made in Nepal. And they are coming right up on the 4WT. Oh, and he gets found by the DBS. Let's see what Moonlight is doing over here. Moonlight trying to come out and around, trying to get that, trying to get that confirmation. 
And Mr. Zorro right there on the back side of that. And there goes Mr. Zorro by Moonlight. And it looks like 4WT up to 5 kills. And I don't see anybody else. I do see negative or Region 8 coming up and around. So Region 8 Infinity Reapers may be coming in. But we lost Sujan and Joker in all of this. So let's let's go back to the map and see what's happening right over here. We got Kaizen official right over here with Nemesis. Nemesis, all three are all four of them in this car pushing right up in onto Kaizen. Look at that. He's right out there behind that tree. Ooh! Into a, oh, look at that. Ran right into him. So now Venom will be, be able to get picked back up. And let's see what else is happening. Let's go up here, see what we can see over here. As we got Team 14, 4WT, and we still have, I think that's Region 8 Infinity Reapers coming up and around. Let's see what else is happening on, on the board. We're down to 11 teams. We still have the Fierce down in Winery. We have Inferno Esports coming into zone just in front of them. We still have... KR Esports up here in in Trevno, so they are coming down and in. So about the only fight is right over in here, and it does look like Jack Lord and Region 8 Infinity are going up and around the outside of Zababa, just on the other side of 4WT. So let's see, where is your, oh, Knight is way over on the back side. So they may be trying to get some information not exactly sure what the plan is for Region 8 Infinity Reapers. And it looks like the Taco Lovers are coming into zone. And they may end up right on top. Of... <laughs> Ooh, there's a Bentley for you guys. Look at that Bentley. Look at that, boys. It's the Rodeo Drive Bentley. <laughs> That's what Riggs calls it anyway. You guys seen that one. Alright, so let's see what else is happening. They are going right past where Kaizen Official just were. It does look like KR Esports may be coming right on in, right next to this mess in Zababa. I'm not exactly sure. Let's check in on them, see what they are doing, see what they are up to. Looks like Malaz way up front. There is another look at that Bentley. Who's hello? <laughs> Bursa turn to the right. He's getting ready to run right into Region 8 Infinity Reapers Knight. Knight is right there in front of him. Look at that. Bursa getting out of that car just as he sees Knight coming out right on top of him. And now they they can hear him right on down below. So now that we got all this craziness going on, I do think Jack Lord has been found from up above. And so now it looks like Region 8 Infinity is in fight with two different teams. Look at this. Here they all come into Zababa. Let me see if I can get as much of this as I can. We do have KR Esports right above coming in from the north. Region 8 Infinity Reapers are separated. And we also have 4WT right in the middle of all this. And me so sad right here on the screen. Just getting some of that vending machine loot and it looks like looks like kr esports is going ahead and driving on out so let's go let's see what's happening our zone is collapsing again we are between dobro maestro and dino park right over the top of vihar and movatra so let's see what is going on with control let's go down and check out what's going on center zone Looks like Control is coming right out and around, right next to the Taco Lovers. There's Cheese right in front of them. I'm going to go ahead and take those shots at Cheese. Cheese is down to about half health. And let's check in on Robin. Robin driving up and around, trying to get on over. Where is Fatty? Fatty right on over here. But we do have Hype Phase down over there as well. So let's go on over here. See what is happening with all this craziness happening here. Let's see if we can get it. A bird's eye view of everything that's going on because we do have hype phase control and the taco lovers all oh, right on down here. Valencia coming right up over onto Pika. Pika is right on the edge. So let's go over and see what 
see what Valencia it looks like Valencia might have pulled back and look at that we also have Zen or Kaizen official coming up and around Pika is down to about half health guys all right look at that line of taco lovers <laughs> with some nades coming in from the hype phase and we do have control straight across the street Ooh, static just got taken down by the play zone and they are still right on down by straight out of Nepal and we still have the two teams way up in the Baba as well guys all right let's see what else is happening looks like we're gonna come right on down into Zen so Zen Kaizen or Kaizen official is right on over here and they're going out and around and we are still on Pika's Pika's driving around all right so everybody getting picked back up getting into zone I'm gonna go ahead and scroll on in we know that the infinity reapers are still up here with 4wt in Zababa they do need to move but it does look like the taco lovers are trying to get closer to center zone maybe coming into Malvatra but not too far away from Inferno Esports and we got straight out in the pop coming in we still have the fierce coming in we are still 50% water but just about everyone is still in zone so let's go let's see what what else we can see we still have hype phase doing just fine they are right over here in in Vihar not too far away from control so everybody is still pretty separated let's go let's see what's going on as we'll we'll go ahead and drive on into zone with KR Esports see what they end up doing Blinky Bay still on the drive let's see what's going on with Blinky Bay and Versa Versa nope everybody is in out of there let's check in on the fierce see what the fierce are doing because it does look like the fierce are coming come on click there it goes fierce are coming right up on two straight out on the call so let's see or yeah russell russell right on over here so we got russell on one side and we got oh the fierce on the other side Looks like Russell on fire right now. And here comes straight out of Nepal driving right up into Static. Oh, and Static gets knocked. So now it is just up to Soka. Soka is the last one still standing for the Fierce. Getting ready to throw that nade right on down on top of Vortex. There goes the nade. And does not get Vortex, but he is still coming out and around. Still trying to get those nades out and primed it right on over. And he's still trying to get over to Static. Static on the back side of that. Russell has been knocked, so let's go on to somebody else, see what's going on with Vortex. They are all right out of, over here, and there goes Static. Ooh, Soka's still taking him down and out, and so now it is Vortex versus Static. Static still trying to use this PP Bison. Oh, oh, and there goes straight out of Nepal, guys. But they are now getting pushed up on by, I think, is that who is that that's coming up and in on top of them oh soka is now on fire trying to trying to put that candle on out it is the rude dude so let's go on down with the rude dudes manny one b nan and then right on your screen down below <laughs> and peaceful able to get that nade knock or nade nade finish guys all right so we still Let's see, Zababa is all cleared out, guys. The rest of the map all in zone now. So 4WT coming right up over here. On to the Taco Lovers. And the Taco Lovers are right there. There's some taco sauce right in front of you. And let's see, can he get those nades right up and over? Because right on the other side is one from the Taco. All right, so let's see. Our zone did move again, and we are by our Movatra and to the west of Dino Park. Let's go up over here. As it looks like Zen or Kaizen official is getting pulled up on by KR Esports right on this edge. All right, 4WT still trying to get those, who trying to get the nades over onto the taco lovers. Let's check in on Pika. Pika in the back. Let's see. Taco Tuesday, guys. Taco Lovers Tuesday coming on in. All right, Taco Sauce has been knocked. Cheese has been thirsted. And we are still trying to get those made straight on down on top of 4WT. 4WT, ooh, right there. Trying, 
trying to dodge that that nade. Let's see what's going on. We are still looking at that. Moonlight up to five kills. Still trying to get Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday and Moonlight with that BBS. And so now it is just up to me so sad. And so now let's see. There comes the Mollies and he's trying to get his teammate picked. Oh, <laughs> Taco Tuesday coming down from the top of that and able to take him down and out. All right, so let's see what is going on right over here with Inferno. Let's go over to, here we go. We're just going to go ahead and do it this way. It does look like we, we have control not too far off in the background. We got control up right on the screen as Moto trying to get on out of that in front and we're right down below team 20 inferno esports inferno esports right there in front of them as we are pushing right up and in here comes brick put on this push brick right over here getting ready to throw that nade right over oh and he gets naded all right so let's see what's going on with robin robin in the back and let's see what's gonna happen now i think that was drago that got that knock so let's see Drago right down on the screen below. And here comes KR Esports all coming right up and around this. So now we got the three main three main teams right on over here. We do have Inferno Esports, Control, and KR Esports. There you guys go. All right, so let's see Robin right on down below letting all that craziness happen as Brick is running out and around with that DBS down to about 5 HP. Does get knocked. Robin's still waiting for him to come down. Oh, KR Esports bulldozing their way right on through that. And look at this. We got the Bomba boys right here trying to get those shots over onto Peaceful. And he does get Peaceful knocked. And now let's see what else is going on as our zone goes south of Vihar and Mavatra. We are down to four teams. We have, we still have KR Esports way at the north. We have Hype Phase coming on in here. You guys go Hype Phase on the main screen and down below. Let's check in on what is going on with the boys over here for the rude dudes we got peaceful up to four kills as here comes hype phase pushing right up and in let's check in now manny manny still trying to figure out where they are watching through the windows getting ready to oh there goes those gas cans dark coming up and in dark down to about 10 hp Peaceful has been knocked, so now it's up to Manny. And we got the Bomber Boys in the background. Bomber Boy. Oh, 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 Balencia. Oh, he took them down and out. We are down to three teams. But if you look, you can see that KR Esports is not too far away from all this. And everybody is right up at the north side of zone. So let's see what is going on with Versa. We're going to go ahead and get everybody picked up for Hype Phase. And let's check in on Taco Tuesday. Who does not like Taco Tuesday? And now he is going and headed straight on into Zone, into a compound. As Zone is still going to the south. So now we do have Hype Phase right over here with KR Esports. And I'm pretty sure KR Esports is paying attention to right where they are. We got Versa on the screen right down below. And we have Hype Phase up here. Hype Phase is still a full four man team. So let's see what's going on. Balenci is up to two kills, but we do have, look at that, straight across. We still have Versa keeping his eye right on over there. And Versa is a duo. And I'm not sure what, where Milaz is. You can see Milaz is coming in from the top, Milaz. So let's see what Malaz is doing. Malaz is up to four kills. Yes, they are both paying attention, close attention to what Hype Phase is doing. Let's see, Hype Phase Joe already in the vehicle. Let's see, can he get on out of there? They are going to go ahead and take those shots. And I think it's Tiger that's getting the shots. And Malaz, look at that. Malaz trying to get those shots. And Hype Phase going ahead and taking on off out of there. And look at that beautiful Bentley in the screen down below. Hey, right, look at how pretty that is. All right, Hype Phase coming up and in right into the garage as KR Esports comes up and around. And Taco Tuesday now 
now not too far away look at this trying to get those get those angles right on down and it does look like kr esports is trying to hunt for hype phase they went all the way down to the south edge of zone Ooh, who shot that i'm wondering i must be hype phase hype phase straight across let's see where hype phase is see what these guys are doing see who shot that <laughs> all right because this is toxic tuesday they can do that if they want look at that there is the flare all right so let's see balenci it's not balenci tiger right up at the top we got joe right over here and the bomber boys bomber boys it looks like he kind of knows that Taco Tuesday might be uh, might be over there, trying to get those ears, trying to hear what is happening. Taco Tuesday, you're about ready to have Bama Boy for a visit. All right, so look at this now. Malaz right over here, gonna go ahead and gatekeep. Let's see what's gonna happen as they are all coming right on. Oh, he went all the way across zone. They are just searching the zones. And we still have Taco Tuesday right on the screen. So let's see, where's Hype Phase going to go, guys? Hype Phase way up north. And I think they are still waiting for the, for the flare to come on down. Oh, ho, ho. Malaz finding Taco Tuesday. All right, so guys, it is now Hype Phase versus... We'll, we'll go ahead and put Malaz on the... Oh, Versa getting pushed up on... We got Bama Boys coming right up and in, right on top of Versa. Let's go over to Versa as they are pushing up onto him. And Versa was the one that that shot the flare, guys. Look at that. Straight down on top of Versa. If you look up, you'll see that. You'll see that flare coming right on down on top of him. And I think Versa's teammate, yes, he is. He's coming up. You can see him on the other side. Here comes Versa. Oh, that Molly from Bama Boys trying to get Versa pushed back. And there is Malaz coming right on in. And Malaz is able to find Bama Boys. And so now we got Tiger on the one side and Balenci on the other side. Balenci is down in the water. So now it's just up to Tiger. So Tiger is still right over here. Let's check in on Malaz down below. Malaz that does have the nade out and ready. And I think he knows where Tiger is running around. And we got Versa right up top. Ooh, the nade's going off every direction. And Versa up on top of that roof. Look at that. So Malaz is coming out and around. Let's check out. And, oh, look at Versa. He can see Balenci coming. Oh, and there goes Tiger. So now it's just up to Balenci versus the duo from KR Esports. KR Esports, Versa coming on down. And there you have it. KR Esports coming in first with 14 kills. Look at them. Malaz with six of those. Hype Phase coming in second with three kills. And Taco Lovers coming in third with five kills. G. G. Top three. Here are the rest of your scores. Four through six. Seven through nine. Ten through twelve. Thirteen through fifteen. Sixteen through eighteen. 19 through 21 going all out Milaz six kills 943 damage we will be jumping with Milaz for tonight's last match when we come right back and I will have the scores up to the minute so stay with me guys hit that like for me please be right back Chance on faith, your mind to pull this place. So take a chance, take, take a chance, a chance on faith. So take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on faith. So take a chance, I never want to look back. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on faith. So take a chance, take a chance on faith.
Welcome back to match four, the final match of Elite Mischief Toxic Thursday. And here are your scores. KR Esports coming in with 47 total points for first hype phase. Right behind him with 32. Straight out in Nepal at 29. Dauntless falling to 26 in that unfortunate hot up. Hot drop off the rip. All right, guys, here we go. We are jumping with Milaz. Six kills, 943 damage. So let's find Milaz, see where he is. All right, let's go. Where is Milaz? There he is right here, guys. There you go. And here are the scores again so you can kind of get Get your team figured out where they are. All right, let's go. Let's see what's happening. All right, we have seven seconds, guys. And our final flight path for Elite Mischief Toxic Thursdays is... We are going from just to the west of Hot Tin on the small island, going all the way through Paradise and Camp Bravo to the other side of the map and dumping off into the water. We already have a couple of teams off the rip headed towards Hot Tin. It looks, oh, look at all these teams jumping right here, right in a row. This is going to be insanity. All right, and we are jumping with K. Our esports, and I think boot camp is going to be insane. So let's go ahead and head down to boot camp, see what's going to happen over here. Let's go with Casper as we are headed into boot camp. Oh, we have so many teams headed into boot camp, guys. Let's scroll, let's go up. See what's happening. Look at all the teams down in boot camp right now. Look at that. All right, so let's see what else is going on. We have a couple of them headed right on down over here to Ruins. We'll check out Ruins in a minute, but right now in boot camp, we have four teams remaining. We have Taco Lovers, Inferno Esports, Dauntless. Oh, so it is just up to Lotus Casper over here for... Dauntless, and we have Kaizen Official down at the other end. So let's go with Casper. Casper was a top fragger tonight, so let's check check out what he's doing as he's getting pushed up on by Taco Lovers. It is Dark Side Night. Pika on the backside of that wall. Let's see what Pika can do as Pika comes out and around both of them with the DBS. Casper, oh, Casper gets found. All right, guys, so now we are still all right over in Maine. Look at this. We have Kaizen Official coming up and in on top of Inferno. All right, so Inferno Esports getting pushed up on. Let's go over and check in on the Lycans. The Lycans are right over here in Ruins, and they do have Hype Phase and the Fierce right on top of them, straight out in Nepal. Looks like they're in a fight right over here. <laughs> Vortex. Oh, Vortex getting an easy one, boys. All right, so let's see. Vortex does find does find one from Nemesis. Let's go over to Paradise. See what's happening in Paradise. Sky Esports is down to Senpai. Well, we did lose Hustler, Obito, and we do have Randabot. Uh, I don't know. That has been knocked right over on the other side by Region 8. Infinity Reapers Jack Lord up to two kills coming out and around. Still getting shot at over here by Senpai. Senpai at the top of the hill trying to come on down and around. We still have the fight in. Let's see what's going on right on down. Let's go and check in on Chills. See what Chills is doing as he is coming right in and around. They is getting pushed up on by by Kaizen Official. All right, so let's see what else is happening as we come on down. Like in magic right over. Oh, what was happening in? Oh, Pinean, little baby. What's going on over here with you? Little baby, the last one still standing. His control is all pushing up and in. Little baby down to about 1 HP. Look at all the boxes right there. 
in front of oh and moto coming right on through and able to pick up the rest of his team we did lose robin and all that but fatty and brick will be able to get picked back up let's check in on magic because magic looks like he is right over here all surrounded by the fierce and it does look like inferno esports chills up to seven kills guys in that craziness for boot camp hot drop all right i think senpai maybe it looks like they're trying to find him but he is just just hiding out keeping his head down let's see what else is happening camp charlie looks like Made in Nepal coming on out of there. We still have all this that's going on right over here. Let's check in on H2O as we got the fierce static in the back. Let's see. And we still have hype phase coming up and in. So we got hype phase right on top of like an H2O. Look at that. And magic right on down below. And it does look like we lost moon and sun. For the lichen so we'll keep that right on down down below sky oh senpai is in that fight and there goes sky esports senpai to the region 8 infinity all right so let's see what is ruby let's check in on ruby see what ruby's up to i think ruby is a solo headed up towards the top of boot camp hill not too far away from inferno esports i think that was deep taking those shots right on over at him and you can see down below that the lichens are still sandwiched between hype face and the fierce and deep trying to come right up onto ruby ruby dancing with this rock trying to keep, trying to keep deep from pushing right up on top of him oh and ruby gets found and chills, I think, is AFK, guys. All right, so let's see what else is happening. We still have the standoff over by Ruins, and we still have control in Pinan. They're coming on out of Pinan. Region 8, Infinity Reapers, right in Paradise Resort. They are pretty much center zone, not too far away from 4WT. And I do think the deep is still coming up and around. And KR Esports is entering the game. Let's see what's going on over here with KR Esports as they are all coming in. Look at this. They got they got the the roof down. Nice summer day in the convertible. We did lose Milaz. Oh, the last match top fragger. So oh. I swear I saw three people in this car, and yet we do have a car coming right up and in. Look at that. That is the strangest thing ever. All right, so it looks like the Lycans are going to be doing fine, and KR Esports should be coming right up and in onto straight out of Nepal. Straight out of Nepal should be right in front of them. Let's come on over and check out Hype Phase as here they all come right up and over towards Hype Hype face gate keeping the two teams from coming in. We do have the fierce and the lichen still coming right up and in. And KR Esports did find straight out of Nepal. So straight out of Nepal is straight across from them. And we are on Bursa. Let's see what is Blinky Bay doing. Blinky Bay coming up and around right behind Bursa. And Mom Bay. Mom Bay did have that massive game earlier. Seven kills, 1,400 damage. Oh, beautiful. All right, so now here comes straight out of Nepal. Wolf OP. You know Wolf OP, the fraggers, coming up and around, trying to figure out where everyone is, trying to get all that information back to Russell. And IWF, <laughs> you Hida. So whoever Hida is. All right, so let's see what's going on. Oh, Mombay, he's got you right in his sights. Mombay, staying out of that. Lycans did knock somebody right on over here. Let's see. It does look like maybe they pushed up. We do have Hype Phase right on down there. And we still have, it looks like Magic in a fight with Static right over here. Let's go. Let's go check in on Magic. See what Magic is doing. Magic is down to about 5 HP. And let's go back over here and check in on Blinky Bay. See what's going on as straight out of Nepal. Still up and around, not too far away from him. We do have the fight right over here. 
Oh, 4WT down to one player. Trying to get him picked up as Jack Lord is coming up and around right on the backside of this. But it looks like Jack Lord does have to pick up the rest of his team right over here. And here comes a nade right up on top of me. So sad. And they are still trying to come up and around. Spicy is right there. And it looks like Joker is trying to get, or Knight is trying to get over to him. And Sujan Sir right there oh sujan sir just just made it to jack lord and died right at his feet and they are still pushing right up and in right in around magic gets knocked so let's check in on h2o and now jack lord still coming up and around me so sad on the back side right there in front of him and oh jack lord up to five kills We'll be able to pick Knight back up. All right, guys. Let's see what else is going on. We are down to 10 teams. We still have this fight going on over here with, ooh, KR Esports getting surrounded by straight out of Nepal. It is a 3v3 situation right here. We have KR Esports in the compound getting surrounded. Look at this. Three side triangle. And it looks like Hita is starting to come up getting really close we do have wolf right across the way versus stick oh <laughs> got some damage there all right guys let's see what is wolf op doing up at the top and where is russell russell up on top of the hill from the south trying to get those angles right on down on top of kr esports down below all right guys let's see what else is happening this is the main fight you got the two fights that are down on the screen let me go ahead and head over towards control. See what's happening with control. And it does look like Valencia right over here is trying to gatekeep and keeping an eye on control from behind. And we still have the fierce coming up right behind like an H2O. There you guys go. The two fights that are happening at the moment. So we'll stick here. Oh, control and inferno. All right. Let's see what happened. Oh, Deep came up onto Control and Control going ahead and moving on out of there. But Control may end up right on top of Region 8 Infinity. We'll have to keep an eye on that for a minute. And it looks like it is just like an H2O against the three of them from the Fierce. H2O getting static taken down. And let's see. We'll go ahead and go down to... Like in H2O, see what he could see. He's got Static not going ahead and taking those shots over at Static. Russell still up at the top on the top, main screen. And they are just waiting him out. Look at that. KR Esports in a triangle formation. Look at this all the way around him. Perfect formation right over here. Luna. Looks like Luna is getting pulled up on right on over here. Let's see what's going on with made in nepal versus luna ah neat is on the screen trying to get those shots over at luna harper and balenci now trying to get those shots onto kr esports balenci is the last one still standing for height phase as they are coming right up on top of them as well so let's see what is going on with mr zorro all right, let's check in on Prophet. Oh, Prophet's been knocked and thirsted by a neat. So now it is Randy and Harper Luna. Harper coming up and around just on the backside. Looks like Valencia's going to go ahead and head on in the zone. So let me see what else I can find over here. And we still have this craziness right on the edge. Let's go ahead and switch, spectate. And we'll go up and keep an eye on this over here because it's really interesting to me to watch how these guys play these out. Because the straight out of Nepal in a beautiful formation, all angles covered. They have two angles from each side covering each other. Plus, they have this compound completely surrounded. So it would be interesting to see what kr esports does to get on out of there so let's see what is randy doing over here oh randy is getting pushed up on look at that randy just watched mr zorro drive right on past and harper may end up with mr zorro right look at that right on top of him so mr zorro does come right up onto harper harper trying to get those shots 
And I think that is Randy taking the shots. Look at that on your screen. You can see Randy trying to cover Mr. Zorro from getting in on to Harper. So let's see what else is going on. I do hear a lot of shots going off. And we've got the two fights on the screen. Seeing what's going on. Randy down to about 20 HP as Harper is rotating down and out. Let's see what's going on with Harper. Harper getting ready to throw some nades over onto Mr. Zorro, who pushed right up in onto his compound below. Alright, so we still have we still have Straight Out of Nepal in this formation, but it looks like Straight Out of Nepal has changed the formation because they are they are not too far away from the fight that is going on right behind them. So it looks like straight out of Nepal, maybe, maybe, oh, straight out of Nepal is getting ready to go and third party this. So let's see, what are they doing over here? And there they go, leaving Wolf OP to keep an eye on this as they are getting ready to third party this fight that we are watching right now on the main screen. Straight out of Nepal. Here, here comes Made in Nepal right on the other side. So let's see what's happening with Luna Harper. Luna Harper, the last one still standing right over here with Made in Nepal. All four of them in his compound. And we have Straight Out of Nepal at the, at the top. And the, ooh, Straight Out of Nepal down to just a duo. So let's see what's going on. Luna Harper coming out and around. We got Hida going up. Oh, look at that. Let's check in on Russell. Russell right over here trying to get those shots right on down. Harper does get Mr. Zorro knocked. All right, guys. Let's see what else is happening as everybody is starting to come into zone. And let's see. Does look like KR Esports headed up towards Cow. Did get out of that compound. Waited out straight out in Nepal. They were not too worried about it. But Russell... You can see in the down below, keeping an eye on Made in Nepal. And let's see, we are down to the last eight teams. And I think Chills is still AFK. He had seven kills, guys, and now he's AFK. Look at all the loot around him as we load on in. And so he's going to be going out to zone. We do have Balenci coming on in. It looks like he's doing just fine as a solo. He was able to get away from the fierce when the fierce is way up over here by the overlook compound by the bridge headed to cow or hot tin i'm sorry guys all right so let's see so these are the main fights right now we just have to wait for everybody to find each other now we still have russell keeping an eye on made in nepal's down on the lower right hand corner so let's see oh i think region eight is ended it gonna end up right on top of control control right behind him there's fatty we do have knight on the screen let's check in on fatty see what he is doing i know he's oh look at that region eight infinity reapers coming right up and in, into fatty fatty finding one of them knight is down to about five hp and now here comes the nade right on top of Knight. Knight is right there, and that nade is cooked. And now he's coming up and around. Fatty down to about, oh, there it goes. Region 8 Infinity Reapers to control. But now I think KR Esports is not too far away. Might have heard all that. And straight out of Nepal and made in Nepal. Now out of zone. They're going to have to come on into zone. We have six teams. We have the Fierce that are still coming in. We have... Hype phase still has to come on in. Let's check in on what the fierce are doing. They're coming right on into this compound, not too far away from KR Esports and Control. Moto is out and about Moto Wing. So let's see. Oh, Moto gets knocked by Versa. All right, so let's see. Where's Fatty? Fatty coming up and around. We got Brick. Brick is going to be able to pick him up, but here comes the fight now. It looks like straight out of Nepal getting ready to go ahead and head to zone. Made in Nepal right on the backside. Mop Bay getting that nade. So now Brick trying to pick up Moto as here comes the fierce on top of everything else. There goes Moto. So now it's just up to Brick. And we still have we still have the fierce taking all these shots as well. So let's see what's going on right on over here. Straight out of Nepal coming on in. 
We have the Fierce in the compound straight across. We have Brick on the main screen as KR Esports is pushing on in. Look at that. You can see straight out of Nepal coming up and over the backside. Brick getting ready to throw that nade right on through. We still have Bursa and Mom ba or Blinky Bay on the backside. Oh, this nade. Oh, that nade by Brick. Brick taking them both out. And I think there's still... We still have Batty at the top of that hill as well, and we still have we still have the Fierce right on over at the other side. Plus, we have Straight Out of Nepal coming in from the top. We still have five teams in this. We have Fight, Hype Phase, Balenci coming on in, and we have Made Nepal driving around going to the north side of zone. So let's see. We'll go ahead and stay right here because Balenci's getting ready to come on into this mess right down below. And, just as I pulled away like that, we did lose straight out of Nepal. But you know, straight out of Nepal is on the top of the hill right behind Brick. So Brick is right in the middle of all these teams. And you can see that everybody's coming right on in. Looks like looks like Made in Nepal coming right up and over the top of the fierce. Look at that. Made in Nepal up on the hinges, guys. The hinges named a soul by John Allen. <laughs> All right, let's check in on Balenci. Balenci just gets to zone and right and that edge of zones. But we do have this fight coming right above, right above where the fierce are. Let's get a better angle of that. We still have straight out in Nepal right above Right above Brick and Balenci down in the compound right to the south of all this. So they are right on top of each other. And it looks like Made in Nepal is pushing right up and in right towards Soka and the boys. So now we did get the driver knocked right on out of there. Now it is just Mr. Zoro and Jana. Oh, so now it is just up to Mr. Zoro. Mr. Zoro at the top of the hill. So let's see. What is he doing right up over here? And I think he's going to go ahead and get into that buggy and get on out of there. The fierce. The fierce taking over that fight. We still have Balenci in there. And it looks like Fatty is getting now, now getting pushed up on by straight out of Nepal. Let's see if I can get down and around, get closer to zone out of the blue. And Fatty is coming down off that hill a little bit. Balenci is coming up the hill. So we're going to have a lot of action at the top of that hill as everybody rotates up and around. Let's see. Balenci is in zone, so right on down below. So we're going to be able to see most of that. We still have, let's see what's going on. We lost Soka in that. So we got Static and Z still for the Fierce. We still have Mr. Zoro coming out and around. Let's see, what is he doing? Oh, he sees Brick straight across. Brick is in that car going ahead and headed up towards Fatty because Fatty does have straight out in Nepal right on top of him as they are all trying to get right on down into zone. And Balenci still in that in that compound fatty look at that fatty does find straight out of the ball russell but oh but he gets found and so now it's just up to brick for control and we do have the fierce coming right in on top oh there goes brick so now balenci is right down here we still have mr zorro but Balenci is right across from the Fierce and straight out of Nepal. So now Balenci is right in between the two teams. So we are down to the top three teams. We lost Mr. Zorro and all of that. And we do have the Fierce right across the street from them. The Fierce are right on the edge of zone. And zone get it pops. So now everybody has to move. This is zone right over here. Let's see. Where is it? Where is zone? It's showing that it's right over here. No, I'm pointed in the wrong direction, I guess. That must be zone. Let's see. That is zone. All right. I thought they were out of zone for whatever reason. All right. So anyway, on the main map up above, neither one of them are in zone. Let's see what's going on with the fierce. Is the fierce are going... Getting closer to zone. Static is right on the edge of zone. 
and we do have sprayed out in the hall. Still trying to come on down. Russell getting bound and chewed up quite a bit. So Russell getting back over to his car. Let's see what Russell can do as he rotates down and into zone. Down to about 20 HP. Stops behind that rock. Down to about 5 HP, guys. All right, so where's Balenci? Russell's right down below. Let's see. He is not quite in zone. There you guys go. All right, so let's see what is going on with Hita right over here. Hita getting ready to throw that nade right on the backside of that. Where, where the fierce are, Valencia is taken out. So now it is just straight out of Nepal versus the fierce. And Z comes out and around. So now it's just up to Static. Static is the last one. And straight out of Nepal is pushing right up and in. So let's see what Static can do as they're pushing up onto him. Here comes Russell coming up and around that edge. Static taking those shots, but Russell finding Static, guys. There you have it. Straight out of Nepal. Coming in first with four kills. Coming in second, The Fierce with eight kills. And Hypeface coming in third with three kills. GG top three. Here's the rest of your scores, 4 through 6, 7 through 9, 10 through 12, 13 through 15, 16 through 18, and 19. Going all out, Inferno Esports chills, 7 kills, 694 damage. We saw that craziness down in boot camp and that's it for us tonight guys thank you so much for supporting elite mischiefs and me we appreciate you so much thank you everyone have a great thursday night tomorrow is friday one day away from the weekend we got this guys we can do it stay safe everyone i will see you soon good night